silicon. Nope, no such luck. This does give us a way to get rid of the concrete powder that we were never going to use, though. Actually, the oxygen can go back up here. I didn't mean to do double silicone. And we're going to need more barium, which is more... Quartz. This is all going to be a bit of a process. At least they may- uh, hello Arctic! How's you? Because trying to go through and actually break down chemicals like this in a lab setting would very much be a pain. I mean, some of them you can get by simple dehydrations. I know the feeling. After stream is over, I might actually go take a nap. Still need more silicone. Does sandstone work? Because I definitely have a bunch of that. It does not. What would soul sand get me? Hmm, silicone dioxide and... Tholium? Don't recall that element from the uh, periodic table, but it has been a while since I've taken a chemistry class. have so much oxygen in the chests. So we're gonna have to go on a hunt for sand and um, Quartz. Hello, Meta. Meta ASA? Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Welcome to the stream. Hope you are having a wonderful day.
Did I seriously not save? Oh, I did save a shovel. Yay! <gasps> They're grown up! Okay. Look at them. They're basilisks. We have thyme and basil. And they are adorable. I don't know why they're hiding behind the couch currently. But there they are. Uh, can remove that death point. And we will go out to the desert to collect sand. Other things that we need to do at some point are enchanting the dragon scale armor that we're currently wearing. And then I do want to expand into some more of the Tinker's Construct tools, but I might do that offline. So you guys aren't sitting there watching as I'm flipping through books constantly trying to figure out what the best combination of materials would be. That is something that is rather difficult to make entertaining. We do generally appreciate other streamers not being mentioned while currently live. It's just a politeness thing. But I will say that while I do watch the Myonetian Isles series, I am currently like 12 episodes behind on it. So I don't want to watch the streams and have past story stuff spoiled. I could find the correct keys. Yeah, because I don't know some of the um, story aspects that are going on in it yet. Yeah, eventually I'll catch up with the series. It's just one of those between work and everything. It's, uh... It's difficult keeping up with what's going on on other people's stuff. Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, 
uh, we need more barium, which means we need to go into the nether to get more quartz. What enchantments do I currently have as books? Fire prot wouldn't be bad. Don't really want to deal with thorns at all. Wither. Oh yeah, the uh, armor is from the Ice and Fire mod. Luck of the Sea, Feather, ooh, Feather Falling would be good. Thorn, Sweeping Edge. I don't know if mending is a thing that exists. It does exist. Okay. We're gonna have to get an enchantment table and start trying to work up towards um, mending. But yeah, my favorite part of the Ice and Fire mod are the um, dragons. I think I started messing around with the crack pack um, mod pack. I ended up not getting very far along in it because it's definitely something that is more... It feels more multiplayer. There we go. This is one of the dragons. Full grown. He is a fire dragon and he is awesome. You can fly on them. Yeah, I currently have mob sounds turned down because they are very loud. The amphitheaters that you can see in the tree over there are another mob that you get with the ice and fire pack. Hello, Blood Shard. How are you doing today? But yeah, it adds a lot of really cool mobs. Um, some cool builds and stuff, like, around the uh, world. Oh, the Hippocampi. They're another part of the mod pack. I am doing well. And with these guys, you move super quickly underwater to the point where it's actually really hard to open the gates. Would you go? But they also give you a permanent water breathing. And now my game is going to lag. So they're really great for going and checking out, say, uh, underwater temples. And all that fun stuff. They're much better in the open water rather than trying to get them out of the gate, though, which is why I have the golden lassos. And then the smaller flying mobs, which are a lot more convenient, are the hippogriffs. So we currently have three. The... Uh, gray one 
is in the lasso. So yeah, they're cool. But it, uh... The gate... Nah, it leads into the little stable area. I can use it as a fly-out point for the hippogriffs. If I'm not just putting them into one of the golden lassos and teleporting them out. And then it just leads up into the basement where I've got farms and all that fun stuff. Oh no, the, um, the gate by the hippogriffs just leads out into the open ocean. Uh, what were we doing? We were going into the nether. That's what we were doing. Yeah, the gate underwater. It's, um, it's just there to try and act as a portal between, um, their holding area and the outside world. I should also do that. Go away, brain eating slime. Uh, you guys can go in there. And let the hunt for quartz begin. Always with the slimes. So I'm going to have to test this in a, um, in one of my test servers, but, ow. What did I do with my arrows? It's all dragon skill armor. The, um, the top half is made out of sapphire dragon scales. The bottom half is silver. At the time, I didn't have enough of either color to make a full set. We could probably make a full set of gray dragon scales at this point. Maybe bronze and emerald? But yeah, it's, um... It's definitely... There are my arrows. It's definitely a case of just having to go out and find more dragons. The ice dragons are a little bit harder to find than the fire dragons. There's really no stat difference in between the different colors of scales. Um, and all of the sets give you a... 
increased defense against the dragon's breath attacks. Ooh, that was surprising. <laughs> you got pulled through the portal. I left my slime boots at home too. That was a bad idea. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that I have everything. Sorry, Streamlabs is a little uh, sensitive about capitals. There's still some things with the auto um, mod that I'm trying to fine tune. You guys are always around. Hello, sheep person. Silly fire squids, you can't reach me if you're under the platform. You are... you're a beehive. Let's not hit the beehive. Um, the, the slime boots are part of Tinkers, so you've probably seen them in anything that, or any mod pack that has involved Tinkers construct. The pink slimes, I'm not sure which mod pack they're specifically from. Hello, Wyvern. You got a weird soup commercial, huh? There we go. The bot finally decided it wanted to cooperate. So we are currently in the nether looking for quartz because we are having fun breaking down and recombining Ow! Chemicals. And dying to these juggernaut blaze things. It's a shout out command. It lets other people in the chat know that the person you're calling out is a streamer that you approve of. And I happen to like Wyvern a great deal. She might be slightly insane, but she is a good friend. And who in this world isn't slightly insane? Uh, 
Uh, it's just a way to add variety to the game. Ow. I am doing all right. I survived work, so that's a good thing. And I survived my cat trying to bring me the gift of a millipede. Because while millipedes are cute, I really don't want them in my apartment. Okay, a bit more quartz. And we should be good to go. Oh, big spider. That spider dodged a shot from my bow, and... Okay, I thought it bounced itself into lava. It didn't. I do want the string from it, though. Did it drop a skull? No, it didn't. Darn. But the spooters drop string that I need to repair things. Yeah, the, um, what is that mod? The Nether EX? It definitely adds some interesting flora. Ow. Have I heard of Awakening? Uh... I'm assuming that that's a Minecraft mod pack? Either way, I don't know if I have or not. What mod are you guys from? Primitive mobs. So the brain-eating slimes are from primitive mobs. Give me back the quartz, please. Brain eating slimes. 
That is actually what they are called. Oh, hello, Hades. Ow. Don't set the house on fire. What am I looking for? I don't know. Yeah, I've got two. Hades and Helena. Normally they stay down here. But on occasion, if you come back from the nether and you take damage in the nether, they will suddenly be trying to get to you. <laughs> oh, more silicone. It's going to be a constant back and forth of picking up um chemicals. Wait, come back here. Actually, If I... that... okay, I did catch that. Um... Do not push me off this platform, pups. Also, don't go after the basilisks. It won't end well for you. Alright, we're going to plop this down right there. That would definitely be interesting. Okay, chemical dissolver. We need a bit more barium. There we go, 64 silicone. That wasn't difficult at all. Totally didn't burn through almost my entire stash of quartz. Thirty two H two O. So I would need sixty four. There's 64 of that, 32 oxygen. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just apparently gave me H2O. Well, I wasn't paying attention <laughs> to what they were talking about. Uh, 80 hydrogen, 40 oxygen. Hydrogen. Chemical dissolver. Oh, 
though there definitely is in mod packs and such, especially if you're going back into earlier versions of the game. Uh, I think that this mod pack in particular is a 1.12, if I'm remembering correctly. It also just kind of saves space. Like, this entire wall over here was full of um, diamond and gold chests that were pretty much full. So being able to condense everything into this one four-block structure, or almost everything into this one four-block structure, has been very helpful. Cellulose. Which I can get from seeds. I actually don't think I've really looked into anything. There are still some things that I use chests for. Um, oh boy, that does not burn through things as efficiently as I thought it would. There we go. Fifty-three. Uh, mostly things like just unprocessed ores that I don't necessarily want to get lost in the ME system. Oh, thank you very much for the sub to the YouTube channel. I will say right off the bat that I am an episode behind as far as uploads go. And as far as YouTube content, there are probably, there, well, there are definitely going to be some jumps in um, the progression of the pack. Because there were a couple of recordings that ended up getting corrupted due to um, either Streamlabs... Uh, malfunctioning or my internet deciding to not cooperate. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Wolf. Yes, searching for wolf is helpful. I mean, I don't think it's super obvious, and I usually try to be pretty good about um, about doing what? About explaining sort of what I did in the previous episode and kind of trying to catch people up on what they might have missed in the gap of space in between. Sixty four carbon. Uh -huh. 
I do like that emote. If anyone has ideas on a second emote, we did end up opening a another um, emote slot. And I actually have time now to do some of the artwork for it. Twelve carbon, twenty hydrogen, ten oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen. Nope, I didn't want cellulose. Twelve, twenty, ten. That could be an interesting emote. I would have to figure out how to um, do the artwork for it. 20. I am probably doing this the least efficient way possible. Okay, so we just need more hydrogen. I, um, I actually kind of based the sub badges off of my profile pick. But it's definitely a place to start. Um, that would be a little hard to draw in the space that... You're not supposed to turn into cellulose. Let's do here. This. Locking the recipe in definitely helps. And how much carbon was it again? 12 carbon. There we go. We now have four starch. And my poor chemicals chest is a mess. Yeah, the problem is with the um, sizing of the emote itself. If you go for something too detailed, then in the smaller um, sizes, it looks very crowded. So it's sort of trying to find a balance between level of detail and appearance if that makes sense. Uh, AMA is Ask Me Anything. Though, as it says in the description of it, I do reserve the right to not answer the question if it is something that I deem a little too personal.
boron. So 16 from boron ingots. So we have that. Eight phosphorus. Which we have a low chance of getting from smelting netherrack or from dissolving netherrack. Phosphorus dust, I'm pretty sure. Oh, glowstone dust. Right, where is this leading? Fertilized essence. Which I am pretty sure that I don't need to make any of. Because I've been getting a bunch of it from harvesting the magical crops. Reinforced glass is advanced alloy plates. Two times compressed stone, one time compressed obsidian, and hardened glass. We might hold off on that one for just a little bit. What else did I want to take a look at today? Aurorium, we have to go searching through the end to find. Fractum is an alloy of Triberium, Obsidian, and Abyssum. Back, try tonight. Cobalt and Terex. So I'm, I know that I made some Terex, and I've got Cobalt. There we go. At least I'm pretty sure that I've got cobalt. If I don't, I can smelt some. Hello, pups. Where did your brother get off to? Oh, there he is.
All of this stuff takes a while to melt. So let's do some inventory cleanup real quick. If there is one thing that I cannot stand, it is having a chaotic inventory. And let me go ahead and get you butt guys back into your pen. So the firehounds, um, you find them in the nether, understandably. And to tame them, you have to feed them coal. Which is a difficult thing to do because they are hostile mobs. So while you're feeding them, they will be trying to bite you. Back in. Yeah, I think it was actually somebody in chat that recommended those names. What mod are they from? I want to say that they're from Nether EX. Nope, they're Quark. They were an addition from Quark. Okay, so you guys can go back in there, you can go back there. How do I know which mod they're from? Uh, Wayla. Which is another one of the mods in the pack. If you look up at the top left-hand side of the screen, it um, gives you the name of the critter and what mod it's from. And it'll do this with any block in the game. So yeah. And I don't know why I was trying to point at the screen for a second, like I actually use a webcam. Even if I did use a webcam, you wouldn't be able to see where I'm pointing on the screen. So the entire process is kind of a moot point. Rolling machine. Avium, tough alloy, jacksum, and gold plates. Yeah, I do silly things like that occasionally. Um, makes three, I need 15, so it'll be five. I only have four of that. So how did I make you again? U, X. 
It was a alloy. No, it was smelting the Jackson ore. Which is going to require that I go back into the nether. Thank you, Wyvern. Everyone take a drink. Courtesy of the dragon herself. <laughs> that is a way of putting it. Okay, that's Tiberium Ore. Oh no, it spawns in the overworld. Okay, that's just it in um, granite. I thought that that was netherrack. So let's see if I have any in my void or miner. Or if I am going to have to upgrade. It'll need to be upgraded. Ooh, to a tier three. That is going to be rough. Because I don't think that I have near enough erodium crystals. Nope, definitely not enough, but we're going to be building things up slowly, but surely. Hey, thank you for the gifted to for the two gifted subs to LS and Meta. Greatly appreciated, Jay. I definitely need to move that because when I have the some of the menu screens up, it does not show well. Uh, should go harvest the crops while I'm thinking about it. That might be something else that I end up testing in a um, in my off-stream test world. Does anybody know if Fortune works on magical crops? I can't really remember if it does or not. Or if it does in some packs and doesn't in others. Because 
Because then I could make a um, fortune or a scythe with fortune on it. Or fortune modifiers. And as I have another squirrel moment, um, the other thing that I wanted to look into doing today that's not necessarily part of the quest line. What does it take to make an enchantment table? Two liquid crystalline cells, block of gold, two compressed diamonds. How many diamonds do I have currently? What did I use to get compressed diamonds? The enrichment chamber, which is downstairs. That might be something that I end up working... Nope, not an induction smelter. Uh, that might be something that I end up starting to do a little bit of work on offline. Is creating a machine room. That way I can just go to one point in the base and have access to everything instead of constantly running up and down stairs. Um, compressed diamond, block of gold. I don't have any paper. Now I have a lot of paper. Books. A chest, two liquid crystalline cells. I am probably going to need to go down and get more obsidian. And two liquid crystalline cells. Liquid starlight, oil cells, Apparently I moved it all into a tank. That's right, I remember at one point I had made a bunch of it. Why did I just chuck the gold block into there? The world may never know. Okay. Down into the mines.
and we will have to go kidnap some villagers as well. Not kidnap, relocate. Relocate villagers for their safety. So that we can start getting some mending books going. Which, with the golden lassos, that should be a pretty easy prospect. Enchantment table. And I think that we need one more bookshelf. Maybe a few more bookshelves to get the full Yeah. At least four more. Two more. And then we should have a full enchant set up. Not quite, but um, proc four is not bad. What do I get on books? Exploding, respiration, bane of arthropods. Interesting, and of course you can't um can't what uh fire proc four and breaking proc four okay so I don't know is um tracking down and relocating villagers and trying to get a mending trade something that you guys would be interested in seeing or is that something that I should do offline because tracking down villagers would be pretty easy with the golden lassos and all of that I think I might have said that already but my brain is a little fried. Silicon dioxide in a combiner to obtain andesite. <laughs> A rock crusher, which I need the advanced plating for, which I need more jacksum ore for. So that might be an adventure. I do, though, think that I'm going... Wait, that doesn't go in there. You go up here. I do think that I'm going to go ahead and call stream here. I have already been running for a bit longer than I normally do. And 
frankly, after work at five this morning, I am slightly tired. So stick around for just a moment. We will see who is on to send a raid over to. And it looks like Tori is up and running with Borderlands. So stop by, show her some love. She's a good streamer, just recently hit affiliate. And that's it. We should be back on Wednesday. Not entirely sure what I'll be streaming. We'll either be heading back into Subnautica or maybe playing some Dead by Daylight if I feel up to it. But yeah, we'll see. Wednesday will be a surprise. But again, thank you very much for stopping by. We do greatly appreciate it. And I hope that everyone has a wonderful week. Yeah. See y'all around.